going on, guys? My name is Kareem Juma. And I'm Ahmed Shaker. And welcome to another episode of Redline Auto Show, guys. Today behind us, we have a Ram 2500, but this one has a couple tweaks done to it, and we wanted to tell you about it. So let's do this. All right, guys, so <clears throat> we, we were wondering what, what, you know, what kind of video we should be doing. Kareem just stopped by. He said, let's get something out there. It's been a long time. Uh, I appreciate all your views, comments, and uh, all the good stuff. And I noticed off late, uh, you know, doing all the Jeep Wrangler videos and doing the Ram truck videos, I had a customer come in the other day, and he said he wanted a Cummins diesel 2500 manual transmission 4x4. And I was like, man, that's a weird combination. We don't sell too many of them, so that's the reason why we don't carry too much of them. And then he started saying, no, that's what he wanted. He's done a search all over and we had one in like 300 miles uh, in the search that he had done. So I got talking to him. He's a, uh, he's a professional pilot, but he, uh, he's very outdoorsy. He, he does a lot of uh, camping, fishing, hiking, hunting, all that kind of good stuff. And then we started talking and he said, you know what? This is the last of the pickup trucks that is a true four x four body on frame, live axles, uh, truck that is uh, with a true center transfer case that is available out there. And uh, he had heard, uh, I mean, the Cummins is unbeatable and the four x four. And since, ever since I sold the guy the truck, I've been thinking and doing some research on the, on the 2500s and I have come to realize, man, it's a good substitute for somebody who's looking for a bigger size, off-road, uh, roomier, a vehicle other than the Jeep Wrangler I mean what we have behind here today is the Ram 2500 it has the 6.4 liter Hemi uh, fantastic motor the 392 in the Charger Challenger combination uh, about 410 horsepower 426 pound-feet of torque that's a lot of power and the, the, the good thing about the, the uh, 2500 heavy duties is it's still live axles just like the Wrangler and it is suspended on on coil springs so you know modifying this and uh, putting on a lift kit and just you know it's not that complicated as in a as in a independent front suspension so this is uh, you know still the rugged off-road vehicle that one might be looking for and then uh, from that research that I've been doing I've, I've, I've noticed that there's a lot of aftermarket stuff available just like on the Wranglers now we have bumpers modular bumpers with which are winch capable you got hoods with vents on there you got different kind of racks available for the bed where you can put uh, rooftop tents and camping gear and all that kind of good stuff so uh, this is one we have on the lot which we put it's just a leveling kit guys it's a spacer kit in the front which levels it out usually the trucks sit with nose diving this one's just a leveling kit and we put 35 inch tires on there with uh, xd wheels and uh it, it already looks beefy i mean i'm five seven i'm no tall guy but as you can see it already sits high up there and it's got plenty of gr ground clearance but the good thing is it, it is a crew cab so you get a lot of room back there uh, this is of course the tradesman like the base level but as you'll know uh, the tradesman still comes with Bluetooth comes with sat satellite radio backup camera I mean that's basically how much you would really need and uh, you know these these come with these uh, storage bins which we've talked about available on crew cabs uh, plenty of storage down here uh, for all your camping gear and whatever you might need recovery gear of course you get a tonneau cover or a camper and you got plenty of room or now like i said there there, there are uh cages available racks available on which you can install rooftop tents or put your kayaks boats bikes whatever you might want to carry but uh, the idea is that this is a good substitute let me tell you guys this is uh, stickers for about 46 47 thousand dollars as it sits right now with the Hemi, the Cummins is a $7,000 option, so it's going to bump the price really high. Again, if it's your daily driver and you're not going to keep it for long or you don't drive 
great distances the Cummins is not such a great option because the gas motor gives you about 16 18 miles to a gallon and gas is cheaper than uh, than diesel is so uh, this is a good option plenty of power uh, automatic or manual which was your preference I'm, I mean I'm just talking about this is an automatic of course we've done the wheels and tires and lift so it, it's more expensive but stickers about 46 47 uh, dealerships usually take six eight ten grand off sometimes uh, you know depending on where you're located at and how desperate they are to get rid of the truck so thirty six thirty eight thousand dollars for a full-size heavy-duty truck that's crazy that's crazy and then uh, it's it's a platform from from where you can uh, begin to build uh, whatever you want to do whether it's a rock crawler it, it, it is pretty capable of rock crawling is pretty capable of overlanding it's pretty capable of going in the wilderness. It's pretty capable of driving on the street as well. So guys, one thing I really like about this vehicle in particular is that it looks very aggressive for it being a tradesman. If we look at the hood here, all the lines and the accents make it look sporty. You have these three cut lines on each side, which give it more of a strong sporty look. Like I said, for it being tradesman, that's pretty impressive. With this front bumper right here, really strong. And I actually like to use it as a ladder. See, let's see how big it is inside of here and I'll climb up. There you go. Bam, and you see this? You see this ladder action right here? Now I'm inside, we got the 6.4 liter Hemi right there. Man, I think I could even fit inside here. There's so much, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Guys, that is not safe. Do not try this at home. I hope you got a good look at this engine inside. Let's see how easy it is to close. Ain't working. Good thing we have this ladder right here. Ugh. Another thing worth mentioning, this vehicle has a trailer tow mirror, so you can have them this way and you can also just fold them out with ease and can you have them that way for a larger view. It looks real cool. So even with it being a tradesman, don't underestimate it. It still has a lot of nice features that people may not pay attention to. It has a nice screen over here, it has Bluetooth, and it also has a backup camera. Let's put this key in and turn this thing on. So we got your screen right here with your AC controls over here. And in Georgia, it is very hot. So we have it AC on, all the way on cold. That's how we do things here. Wanna press accept right there. And if we put this bad boy in reverse, we can see that it has a backup camera right there. It's not the biggest screen ever, but it's better than not having backup camera in general. Hey guys, it does the job. Uh, if you put it back in reverse, yeah. Kareem. So, like you see, it's a wide angle lens, like in all, all the cameras that we have. This is the bumper right here. If you had a hitch, it would stick out and making it very easy to back it up into a trailer. But uh, uh, again, it's it's a decent enough dash. There's nothing wrong about it. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, guys, I have to cut in. Brian, who, <laughs> who lifts our Rams and Wranglers, he has a Ford um, and he has a train horn on it. So I did this and he did it. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so uh, getting back to the RAM, plenty of storage space in the door, uh, bottle holders, cup holders, like I said, off-roading, overlanding. Uh, this one's, of course, got the bench seat option, so you got storage space down mm -hmm. here. Uh, cup holders, plenty of them, but if you lift it up, it's a seat where you can uh, seat a kid, a small Put adult. your girlfriend, put your dog, Six, put uh, your legs, you know, drive her responsibly. That's how you do it. Well, that's green for you. So, uh, <laughs> anyways, like I said, this one's got the uh, uh, trailer brakes uh, controller built into the system. You got your four-wheel drive controls. Uh, you got the tow home mode, so if you're towing something or climbing a steep hill, you just turn that on. Uh, changes the way the transmission shifts on you. And then uh, again, coming back to the storage space, glove compartment, and we did see the the spaces at the back. I mean, this is a fantastic option, guys, for like thirty six, thirty seven thousand dollars stock. And then uh, you know uh, you can start your build from there. Or like I said, AV is one of the companies that manufactures a bunch of stuff uh, for like bumpers. Um, Fender flares, suspension too. They have a, a neat um, suspension lift if you want to get up a 37s or 40, 40 inch tires on there. So that's that's pretty awesome. You got your regular 
uh, voice commands, Bluetooth, and you have the center console with all that information cluster. So that's pretty awesome uh, truck for, uh, it's good bang for the buck, I think. Uh, I would say, yeah. Yep. So just thought we put this out there and, uh, and uh, it's an option for all you guys who want to do off-roading, overlanding, all that kind of good stuff. So, Guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching us showing you this beautiful 2500 Ram. And if you liked the video, hit the like button down here. Subscribe here if you're already not subscribed. Here's our latest video, guys. And until next time, Redline Auto Show is out.